Before we jump into today's video, I want to do something unusual and ask you guys to go to my website, andrewmastersmusic.com. At the top, it says join the secret mailing list, put your email in there and hit join. Go put your email in there if you wanna support this channel and be alerted of very special things that will be coming very soon. Today we're gonna to do something so awesome and we're gonna go check out how the drums are built and made at WFL3 Drums. I got a call from the man himself, Bill Ludwig, number three. He invited us over to the factory, the headquarters, to see what they're doing to make these beautiful new drums that I use in here all the time, also on my new pack that'll be coming very soon. Bill and the team over at WFL3 do an amazing job putting in a lot of love, care, and attention. It is a very small team in Kansas City making these gorgeous drums. It's amazing. So if you guys like that, go follow WFL3. There's a Instagram, they have some social media profiles. I'll put their website in there. Little cool note, if you are looking to get a drum set, and you call them, you can talk to Bill Ludwig himself and order your kit from him, which is absolutely cool. And not only can you get like their signature drums, but you can also have them custom build a kit for you to exactly how you want it. So go check them out, go give them a call. Thank you, Bill and the whole team over there for inviting us out. It was super fun hanging with you guys. And lastly, thank you to Sweetwater for sponsoring this video, but more on that at the end. Let's go check it out. Did we bring enough people? Yeah, cool. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for coming, everybody. Yeah, this is nice. How long have you guys been in this this building? About four years. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice. and uh, we just turned this into our display room recently and uh, showing off the new finishes we're working on. We call it a show special, only available at drum shows, but it's got little button lugs that Trick made and laser etched the three on. Wow. This is my original badge I started with. It just so happened I found 46 of these in my desk drawer at home and said, well, let's make 46 special limited edition drums. That's the three vent hole, which I originally did because I thought it looked cool, but being a bigger vent, it's actually functional too, and it gives the bottom head a little quicker response to the snares. This is, a, this is kind of a fun drum. That I wanted to make this for Ringo. And do a, uh, you know, just a real limited edition, but sell it for uh, the profits going to his charity. Okay. And uh, we just had some fun doing that, but never got past his manager. Cool. All of our sparkles, all of our finishes are, are painted on. We don't use any wraps anymore. Our new paint guy is working to kind of replicate a couple of the classic wraps, white marine pearl and black oyster. But don't tell anybody that. <laughs> yeah, because the, the wraps were just so hard to work with and they were, you know, you cut them and they shrink a little bit after a certain time and it pulls the seam open and I said, you know what, we've got, we've got the talent here, let's just do them painted. So all the sparkles are painted. You'll see some different sparkle uh, textures we're working with, like a chunkier sparkle. What's it? Uh, and multicolored sparkles. So this is our assembly room where all the drums uh, are hand finished. As far as like the bearing edges and everything goes, they all hit these tables. This is Dave Moulton. Dave's been a drum right. assembler here in Kansas City for more than 25 years. He's worked for a couple of the other drum companies in town. We went looking for the dude, the dude, and <laughs> that's that guy right there. Right. So we, we said, would you like to come work for Bill Ludwig? And Dave said, Yes. <laughs> so we're here at WFL3 and, and Dave is our master assembler. So there's no experience like experience, right? Well, this is how we get the shells in, all extra long tubes. We, we cut these off, we put the, the support rings in ourselves, do all the edging, drilling, and finishing. Starts like this, ends up like that. And then we've got you know all our drum heads and our proprietary hardware that we have made for us. All of all the lugs and everything are our design so they're not off the shelf. Regular parts like tension rods and hoops, we buy in off the shelf. The drum heads, oh, we have most of them are stamped with our logo on them. The drum shells, we, we don't actually make the shells in-house, but they're made by a maker in uh, Minnesota to specifically our formula and only for us. If you call up, you cannot get our shells uh, or our formula made from the manufacturer. 
It's maple and uh, a couple different species of mahogany. So it's six plies of that put together. So the maple gives you the attack and the reflectiveness and then mahogany gives you the meat and potatoes. Check this out. So this is a new color we came up with. One of our endorsers, uh, Shane Williams with Big & Rich. This is uh, a kit for him that we just are getting ready to assemble, cut and assemble, and uh, this is going to also be one of our new colors, and it's going to be called Ice. It's going to be on our new uh, color palette coming out here pretty soon. This is a three sizes, a three size flake spray, and this is paint, not a wrap, so we don't do wraps anymore. So this is the paint room, uh, the finishing room where they do the sanding and uh, the buffing and the cutting and the prep on all the painted drums. We use PPG paint here at PPG Products, so we have the full paint mixing system with the computer, so basically we can get in the computer, we can type in a name or a number, and it'll give you the exact amount to mix, and it's all done by weight, so we can replicate colors, or if somebody goes, I like this car color, we can make that color, but we can also store things, so if somebody comes back like a year or two later and says, hey, I need to have this uh, this blue drum recreated, so I want to add another tom, we can look up what we did for you, we can have that paint to match. So we've been working on different stuff and different finishes, different styles and techniques of doing stuff. So we have some of the more vintage stuff there on the left, some weird stuff in the middle, because we're just like, well, you know, what's cool about this company is that we make world-class drums, but we're small and we can pivot and turn when we need to pivot and turn. There's no red tape. There's, hey, Bill, what do you think about this? Okay, cool, let's try it. These are a bunch of the spray outs here that we did for the Big & Rich kit to see what he would like. So we, we actually hand delivered those to Shane and then he had them for a couple weeks and sent them back. But these aren't really our finishes. This is just an example of what we can do and the things that we can create. This is a rough kind of draft. It's, it's all a process where we do a bunch of different things. Well, let's try this. This was close. Let's switch it around. This is by no means the end product, but we're on we're well on the way to getting a paint finish with a, a black oyster pearl, right? This is really cool. This is the vintage cream color with a pearl silver in it. I call it your grandma's wallpaper. You know what I mean? Or my grandma, I'm a little bit older than you guys, but my grandma would have something like this, you know, the wallpaper in the houses so it's got a really great vintage look and that silver kind of pearl in there when the light hits it really pops so that's an advantage of being a small company like we are and having everybody here together and you know if you got you guys know you know your artist flow you never know when the inspiration is going to come or what happens right mine's usually about 2 30 in the morning when i'm trying to go to sleep and that's the one thing here we're all easy to work with we get along we talk about drums we love drums these are some drums that are in the process of getting clear coated so the shells come in here, some of them, like this is a natural, like a ribbon mahogany, where they get, they'll get several coats of clear on them and buffed and cut and polished, and then they'll go out and they'll get their hardware on them. This is a, this is a, like a trans candy color. So you can actually see the wood grain through the paint. And this is not a stain, this is paint. Yeah. And then there's a thing called DVC 500 that we can float the color in. So we put it in here and spray it, and you can actually see the wood grain in there, and you got a great yeah. flip when the light hits it, right? Yeah. So this is a thing we can do for people that want more of a painted finish but still want to see the wood versus a traditional stain that looks a little different, right? What's going in the paint booth? It's going to be a little snuggly in here. So this is a this is a drum that we're in the middle of making for a customer. This is our B3 Blue. So this is a stain versus what we saw out there with the actual paint. Yeah. So this is a stain that's rubbed on the wood. It's a water-based stain so you can smooth it out with a wet cloth oh, and then cool. it gets the clear coat shot on it. And this will be a this will be a snare drum that'll be uh, sent out here pretty soon because it's almost ready. This is like a clear blue metallic mm -hmm. that like a fade, or this is actually a burst. And then from here you got the the flip with the black. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this is a black stain with the blue metallic on it. That's a good one. That's going to be something w w that we'll be able to offer. So all our new color palette's going to be there'll be a metallic option that you can add the metallic uh, dust to it to make it look metallic versus just a plain blue. Yeah. You could have a blue metallic. We're also working on stuff like this. This is, and this is a, a drum that we're working on. This is paint. This is not wood grain. Right. So we got a lot of people that want the exotic wood grains and stuff like that, like the big fat, like rosewood or some of that African zebra wood or things like that, that we don't offer in our finishes. How do we do that with paint? We figure it out. So this is actually all paint on a maple shell. This is a this is a color fade and sparkle thing that we're doing for a lady in Montana. So it, this is again the purple, that same purple we looked at out there a minute ago, and then she wanted it to fade to a, a nice trans blue. So we've got that, and then she also wanted some sparkles and some pearl in there, so we've got that in there for her. That's She's getting a whole drum set like that. Cool. This is a thing oh. we're doing. This is called uh, Galaxy Sparkle. Yeah, that's right? amazing. So this is, this is a multicolor flake 
over black piano. Nice. So yeah. very, very classy yeah. and can fit in really into anything. You know, if you got like a, if you have a, a metal drummer guy, you know, this will look great on stage. If you got a guy that's a jazz club, it would look elegant and classy next to a, a, you know, a grand piano, a nine foot grand piano or whatever you're doing. This kind of, kind of goes in almost any situation. Beautiful. That's a beautiful, beautiful finish. This is our spray booth, full on automotive spray booth with a little machine we created here. So what this does, um, it gets the drums up off the floor because Jason's six foot four. Yeah. So we can actually stack four or five drums on that wheel and raise them up, and he's able to paint them all at the same time. Whoa. And they turn instead of him turning. So there's a, it's a very even coat yeah. and a way to do it. It also helps it dry more faster and evenly. So sure. we turn the fan on, this is moving. It pulls the air through it, and the, all the air that comes in this room and into here is double filtered. So we're getting all the dust out of the air before it gets into the paint. And that's something that we, we came up with, was that wheel use like that. So we, we've come up with a lot of new finishes and ways, processes to do stuff. This is where they uh, inspect the shells, cut the shells. We have uh, reinforcement rings up here and base drum hoops and stuff ready to go. So we can pull them down and kind of speed up the process. Pull a shell off the wall. We'll take it over here to the sanding table and we'll make sure that it's flat. And that happens in between every step of, of the drum. So every time we cut or we change the shell some way, we go back and we make sure it's flat and sandy because we want a flat edge. These are our shaping tables. This is how we cut our bearing edges on here. So if you look at the inside of these, they have an interior for, interior 45 okay. that we do. It doesn't really do anything. It's just, it's just a nicer way for it to look and it shows a little bit better quality, a little more craftsmanship, a little more care in the making. It's a, it's a little bit of a process and a process in a positive way where we've changed some stuff to make it a little bit better quality and a little bit better process. We also use a, a, a scarf joint instead of a butt end on the interior uh, reinforcement rings so that it lays over like this has more surface area to glue. It also is it's a little bit, again, a little bit more quality. It's a higher quality technique, things like that. We've got these three shapers that we use. This is our um, proprietary kind of snare bed jig that I had, that we had made. Um, we put the snare on here, hammer comes down, holds it in place, and then there's a relief there that runs along this bearing, and it gives the same bearing edge, or the same uh, snare bed on every single wood shell. They're all cut here, and then they're hand finished in the assembly room, so they go through them with the sandpaper, and they make sure there's no little burrs, and it's all smooth and right. Every snare drum that's wooden hits this for the exact same snare bed, so it's all about being able to reproduce it every single time and make it make it as great as you can every single time. You want to show them how you do a ring? You got a ring laying around real quick? So we've got this sled here that allows us to do our scarf joints and then they're all hand fit to the inside of every drum because the inside diameter of every drum is different minutely, right? Because it's a natural, it's a wood product, it's going to change. So what we do is first of all, we'll take that shell over there, we'll cut the inside 45, it'll come over here, we have this roller jig that's not on the table right now that allows us to roll the shell with no friction so it's a smooth, easy cut. So that usually takes a few more times to be the perfect fit. He'll do this and then he'll go with a pencil and trace it for the exact fit. And this is like a custom fit thing where you can't measure it by hand. You have to get close and then you're working it little by little. Good to go? I think that's good. There you go. So this is our new uh, Herco VMX 42i CNC machine. So we just got here a couple weeks ago. He's in the middle of making uh, mm -hmm. some adapters and blocks for us so that we can use this machine to cut and drill all of our shells. So we basically, we get a program, we put in the size of the shell and the, and the hole pattern, we put it in there. It does its CNC machine thing and it comes out and then Ty puts the rings in it. Dirk is uh, machining our parts that we have to have to make the machine work for our application. So the machine is making the parts for the machine. It's so precise it can even engrave wood. I'm really excited about it. I've wanted that for years. Yeah. 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 Adam Parsons, chief problem solver, right here. <laughs> yeah. Right here. Hey guys. So this is our new uh, snare drum display that we're going to be sending out yeah. to yeah. our uh, retail resellers. Uh, when they buy this selection, specific selection of six snare drums, they get the stand for free. So um, they'll be able to display our snares in a beautiful way in their stores. And on the stand, we've got our five and a half 1909 aluminum. We've got our six and a half 1909 aluminum. We've got our black nickel over brass in a six and a half. We'll have our bird's eye natural 
uh, maple in a six and a half. We'll have a six and a half in our uh, ribbon mahogany with brass. And then down here on the bottom is a five and a half piano black maple in chrome. And also, eventually what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be offering the stand for sale to consumers. So uh, if they want to have the stand, like if you have a big collection, what are you gonna do with all your snare drums? Yeah, yeah. You can put this in the room, you can put your six favorite drums on it, and when it's full, you can get another one, you can put six more drums on it. Nice. So you'll be able to you'll be able to start your WFL3 collection and have a place to put your WFL3s as well as your other drums, and that'll be uh, coming out and available through our website here fairly soon. So something for the retail resellers for our Team WFL3, and something for the at-home uh, online consumer as well. There'll be obviously a link to buy drums. Yeah. You can buy kits direct from us. Snares are going to be either direct from us or through a retailer. Okay, great. We're not actually selling kits right now right. through a retailer. Yeah, yeah. So, and you actually deal direct with Bill. If you want to order a kit through yeah. our website, yeah. you can deal direct with Bill. We, we can custom build any finish yeah. within reason. Yeah. Uh, well, and actually out of reason. <laughs> really, we yeah, have these, we we, there is, there is guys, no limit. We like it, which is yeah. crazy. So what we'll have is we'll have, we'll only mostly have these in stock ready to go because when somebody calls and says, hey, I want this, we want to be able to ship it out real quick, right? Yeah. So these will be snares that'll be on the shelf in, in the warehouse that are ready to go. And pretty much everything else is a bespoke order. Like they'll call or they'll email and say, hey, I want this. And then like the purple and blue shell I showed you in the back there in the mm -hmm. faint room, uh, she said, I want a drum set. I want a purple. Well, what color purple do you want? So yeah. I'm on the phone with her. We're talking about, is it more of a red purple? Is it a more of a blue or electric yeah. type of purple? Is it a grapey purple? We talked about that stuff and we did some spray outs and we mailed them to her spray out that way. I mean, we can get as crazy as you want to get, you know, if you want a bespoke drum kit. In, in the modern age, it's not that hard to get something custom. So this is just the final inspection area that we talked about. Where all the drums come for final inspection, uh, quality control, and then they get boxed up and shipped out. This is called Caribbean Sand. If you're a fan of Seether, it's the color that John Humphrey has on his kit. Ooh. And that's getting ready to go out to a customer in St. Louis, actually. So it won't be too far away. Also, each one of our drums that leaves here gets one of these protective socks. Instead of uh, you know putting a T-shirt on it and then putting it in your case or whatever we all do, so they they all come with a sock and then from here it'll get boxed up or reboxed up as the case may be and shipped out to its new owner to its new home. Yeah. This is our photo photo area where we're, we're uh, again we're getting ready to do a photo shoot for our new snare drum display today. So uh, you know sometimes we've actually got a couple bands in here doing photo shoots we've had uh, our endorsers in here this is where we do our shooting that's it guys thanks for coming andrew yeah. i'm turning it over to you man this is your gig thank you sib it's time for another segment of what's new in the stew brought to you by sweetwater and today we are looking at a beautiful mic from sennheiser is this a new mic no it is not a new mic uh, it is new to my stew, hence what's new in the stew. But this is a microphone that I've used for a very long time when I would go into big commercial amazing studios. This is the Sennheiser 441. This is a dynamic super cardioid microphone and it has been around actually for a very long time. You know, this is like the original design. It's been like this forever. You got a few different settings here, music and speech based off of the proximity you're gonna be using the mic at and what's going to be on it. What I love about this mic is one, it sounds fantastic on snare bottom. Also sounds great on toms. I'm gonna to do like a full video trying this out on a bunch of things so that you guys can hear it. But if you guys wanna pick one up, there is a link to it down in the description. And thank you to Sweetwater so much for sponsoring this video as well as all of the other videos on this channel they're a huge support system for me and what i do so if you want to support them click any of the links down in the description pick up some gear for your studio let me know what you get we'll see you guys very soon in the next video